Well, you're thinking with a 20th century lens, okay? You're seeing trauma as natural disaster, loss of a loved one, car accident, going off to war. This is an antiquated 20th century understanding of trauma. A 21st century understanding of trauma would say that trauma is a state of overwhelming stress in the nervous system and body. Whenever our brain perceives threat or there's an actual threat, our nervous system responds with a hierarchy of responses based upon their evolutionary development. This is according to Dr. Stephen Porges, who founded the theory understanding of the nervous system in the 90s. First, we look to other people to calm us down. If that doesn't work, then we go into fight or flight response. And then if we feel too trapped and overwhelmed to fight or flee, then we go into the freeze response. And this is also called the trauma response. And it's at that point that there are a lot of different things that start to happen in preparation to possibly be be eaten by a lion. And one of those things that happens is there's a shutdown of the brain structures that are responsible for you feeling connected to your body, yourself, and the material world. I was sitting in a movie theater watching my life play out before my eyes as a spectator, and everything was kind of turned down. The It was like very dull, kind of cold, colorless. And also, another thing that happens in a trauma state is uh, your perception of time can be messed up. There's something in the brain, um, I believe it's called the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, but it's basically the timekeeper. And whenever the timekeeper starts to shut down, your perception of time gets messed up. You might feel like things happen very fast or things happen very slow. And so you couple that as well with, you know, severe anxiety symptoms and it, it, it all creates this experience that is absolutely debilitating. Now, if there were a lion there or some sort of actual existential threat, like let's say you're being eaten by a lion, I would definitely want to feel out of body. I definitely would not want to be in my body if Tony the Tiger is eating me. I definitely would not want to feel connected to the material world, okay? I would definitely want to go emotionally numb, which is another thing that can happen in deep states of uh, traumatic stress.